Hello fellow kids and welcome back to our AEW Rampage reaction video here for this week's episode of AEW Rampage. Well, this week as in, well, really last week by the time that this is uploaded, but you get my point. Either way around, we're in for an interesting show. I think there's, what, four matches on this one, so it'll be interesting to see how this pans out, especially as this is going to be with the fallout from the AEW second anniversary Dynamite episode which we reacted to that should have been up before this one and that sort of thing so here we go friends let's go ahead grab your snacks grab your choice of beverage get comfy and cozy let's go and react to rampage shall we i think so okay so you all know how mark henry does like the three panel interview before the main event we got that for the opening match this should be the main event of the episode at least to me that's what it feels like anyway but we have a couple of mainstays here on Rampage. I guess CM Punk's the Rampage dude. And Daniel Garcia, I feel like this dude's been on almost every single week. I have no idea where we found Daniel Garcia at, but I'm glad that we found him wherever we did. <laughs> He's been good so far. He's been good so far. And, and it's good to see Punk just kind of mix it up with all these different people that he wants to get into the ring with. I, I appreciate and respect that quite a bit. It keeps things fresh. Yeah, I would agree with Taz on this one. Daniel Garcia has certainly earned his spot, you know, with CM Punk here on Rampage. I mean, to be fair, Daniel Garcia is kind of like the mainstay of Rampage at this point. And Punk's getting up there, too. I mean, I like that, though. I, I will be totally real. I I'm with Taz. Again, I'm not a trained professional wrestler in any capacity, but just seeing everybody get slammed around like my back hurts just watching that. Not just because I have a very terrible posture. I love how Taz and Jericho are arguing on commentary about wrestling moves. I'm genuinely glad that we're getting this matchup. I really am. Look at Garcia. He just countered one of Punk's kicks right there. All right. He's, he's onto something here. He's wearing down the leg, which makes logical sense because Punk has a lot of offense with his leg and knee and that sort of thing. That's also really good just to have a CM Punk match under his belt, too, especially since, again, he's one of the newer people here on AEW. They're getting him a towel to just, like, get some air going. I, I understand that. It's 10,000 degrees here in the apartment at the time of recording this. These two are just leaving it all in the ring, and I respect that. I really do. I don't know what kind of a fall that was from Garcia, but okay, we'll go with it. But that's okay. If I even try to even get inside of a ring, I'd probably trip and fall flat on my face. It's fine. <laughs> oh, Punk's not letting up on these strikes here. Oh, what a nice counter and transition from Garcia right there. That was quite good. That was quite smooth. That deserves a clap. That deserves a bit of an applause. I don't know about y'all, but this should have been our main event match. And again, I feel like that's kind of the problem that they're having on Rampage every week. It's like they put everything in reverse order. Like the matches we think are going to be in the main event are not in the main event. Oh, but they're still kind of stumbling around. What's Punk up to here? All right, Punk just took out Daniel Garcia in 2.0. All right, that, that deserves a clap right there. Oh, no way. Oh my God, okay. I think we just saw a pile driver. I think we just saw a pile driver. Oh, Punk's got this now. There's there's no way out of this. Well, I'm sure there is a way, but yep, there, there we go. Garcia just tapped out. Nice job on Punk for winning the match. Very good match between these two. I quite enjoyed it. This gets a thumbs up. All right, well, the acclaimed is here. The acclaimed is back, and they're going after the Lucha Bros. That jab on Rocky, though, that was... That was great. Is, is all the shouting necessary? All right, Lucha Bros, just go get them for all of us, please. All right, well, we're right out of the gate with all the fighting and stuff between these two teams. The bell's rung. All right, well, that's one way to uh, get the championship matchup underway right here. Oh, nice move right there. Okay, I was really confused for a second. I'm like, wait, 20 tag team matches? This is only an hour long show. But then they referred to it being the entire year, and I was like, okay, well, that makes a lot more sense, because I don't know, we're about nine full months, almost ten full months in. That would make sense to me anyway. A couple tag team matches per month. All right, Ray Phoenix is back in the match. Love to see that. Got Bowen inside as well for the acclaimed. At least we can keep track of everybody in this match. God dang. That's like my one critique. It's hard to keep track as to who's like supposed to be in the match for all these tag team matches. A lot of them are fun, just hard to keep track of. All right, well, my prediction was right. That was a very quick match. Very, very quick in both ways. It was short, but it was also very quick. So yeah, it's nice to see the Lucha Bros pick up another win. Love to see that. Let's just keep things moving here on Rampage and that sort of thing. So 
Good job on the Lucha Bros for retaining the titles. Okay, cool. This makes sense. We've got two people that are going to be in this TBS tournament. Did we get Did we get any answers as to when this tournament's starting? Oh, there goes Sky Blue now. Oh, okay. Jade with the counter. Oh God, there goes that kick. That might be it, fam. That That could be it, y'all. Oh no, Jade's got her. Jade's caught her. Oh yeah, yep, that's it. I don't know what else to comment on in this match, but Jade picks up a win. Continues to build that undefeated streak, that momentum and that sort of thing. That's all I got, y'all. What do you want me to say? The match was like a minute long. Okay, so I like Brian Cage and I like Ricky Starks, but Ricky Starks has been winning me over lately. I like how we've been able to see a little bit of character and personality in recent weeks. Starks just trying to get a steel chair into the mix, but uh, Cage just caught him there. I mean, hey, as long as we get Team Taz at some point on our screens in any sort of capacity on Rampage and Dynamite, or one or the other, I'm okay with it because I like Team Taz. Oh man, hopefully those people in the front row are okay after that. Oh man. Okay, so we have a trash can and a trash can lid, and we also have a pipe. And then we have some other thing. I don't think it's a baseball bat, but it looks similar to one. Oh, a pool cue. Okay, well that's random, but we'll work. We'll, we'll go with it. We'll go with it. Oh, nice counter from Starks. Oh, and he had that chain right there. Right before the break, we saw a huge, like, DDT or something like that. Right into that steel chain, I think it is. Yeah. Good on Starks for using all of his resources to his advantage. Oh, that was nice with the trash can lid. Okay. Usually we just see the trash can lid just get thrown or something. But that was a, that was a nice move right there with the trash can lid. Oh boy, what are we doing with this trash can now? Oh god. Oh, Cage just went right for Starks right there with that trash can. Oh my god. That looked painful. Oh, I love how they were just shouting send hook on the freaking commentary table over there. And well, they send hook. And they sent in Hobbs. But hey, Hook had the right idea. He at least brought in like the championship. That's gotta be it. That has to be it, y'all. Okay, that was not it. Calm down, Ricky Starks. You got this, buddy. You've got this. <laughs> He's just like throwing a tantrum with that freaking tube or whatever it is. The pipe. There we go. I mean, at least he was using his tantrum to get a little bit of offense on Cage. Oh, boy. Oh, God. He just flattened Starks. Oh, but there's Hobbs. Oh, but there's Hook. Oh, my God. The blood on Ricky Starks. Ricky Starks was the MVP of this match by far, but this was still an enjoyable watch. Go check up on your dude, Taz. Come on. I don't care what anybody says. Team Taz has certainly been the one group that's really grown on me here on AEW. So I'm cool with it. I'm cool with Team Taz. And good on Taz for checking in on Ricky Starks right there. We appreciate you, Taz. But again, this was a good match. I enjoyed it for what it was. And Ricky Starks, just he was the MVP of this match by far. I'm excited to see what's going to be next for Team Taz. I truly am. All right, so our final thoughts here for AEW Rampage. I thought this was a good episode. The first match and the main event were both really good. The middle was the middle. Uh, they were very quick matches. I would have rather have just seen, like, just one match instead of, you know, the two middle matches. Like, I wish we would have just gotten to three matches instead of just, like, four. So, I mean, it could have been a lot worse. It could have been a lot better. It was right in the middle of the road, I felt like. Um, but it was a pretty quick watch for the most part, at least with the opening and the main event matches anyway. So, let me know what you all thought about this week's AEW Rampage down in the comments down below. Make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button so you get notifications around here. Make sure to check out all the links down in the description down below to the podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and wherever you get your podcasts from along with my social media. So on that note, thank you all so much for tuning in and I will see you all around later. Bye everyone.